Welcome to Amrita College. You are such an environment. The environment will enlighten not only us but also you also. Promising you that you will enjoy the session today. Because our student, such a student, they are going to learn from you. And Honorable Chairman Sir is here where the education is most priority. And the faculty members who are uh, that the, they are running the institution, they know how to build up, how to nursing such beautiful minds. So you are all welcome. Now we have the two valuable guests. One is named by Mrs. Ragina Simon, and another is Mr. Simon Said. Please give a big clap for them. Yes, right. Thank you. You're also welcome to our session. Now we are going to uh, receive them with floral reception. May I request the Honorable Vice Principal Ma'am, please come on the dais and please hand over the flowers. All of you, please be glad with the flowers. And then Mr. Simon Saiz, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Sir. Now we are going to transform to Holy Quran. May I welcome? May I welcome? Rai Falom Doha from Class 7, Section Venus. Please come on the dais. Ladies and gentlemen, the reception from Holy Quran. Assalamu alaikum. A'udhu billahi minash shaytani r-rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Tabaraka al-lazhi biyadihi al-mulk wa huwa ala kulli shayyan qadir. الذي خلق الموت والحياه ليبلوكم ايكم احسن عملا وهو العزيز الغفور الذي خلق سبع سماوات طباقا ما ترى في خلق الرحمن من تفاوت فارجع البصر هل ترى من Thank you very much. Rai Falam Dora, thank you very much. Honorable guest, uh, one important thing I'm going to notice before you that the Amirjan High School and Amirjan College, such a prestigious institution. In this institution, that, that way you are looking today, it was not like that before. It is totally a village and suburb of Dhaka City. Only five to ten minutes if you walk, you will go out of the Dhaka. So such a place where an institution was built a lot of time ago, late more than 20 years ago. It was totally a backdated place. Mm. In such a place when education, the light of education was enlightened by three brothers. Okay, of course, we cannot but forget the others' name, the, those have also played role behind them. We also remember their faces. We also know about the contribution they have done our Honorable Chairman Sirs and their three bro two brothers also. So I'm also showing my deep gratitude to them. And later on, I'm going to welcome another one, another another student from class seven, Tofika Istran Sanya, for welcome speech. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, assalamu alaikum and Assalamu alaikum. <coughs> Uh, Assalamu alaikum and good morning, uh, Mr. Simon Say and Mrs. Uh, Regina Simon. Um, the, uh, welcome you with our heartfelt for coming from such a far place, UK, just to talk with us and discuss with us some topics. And if we have uh, questions, we can ask you. 
and um, um, I'm really grateful to Chairman Sir and Almighty Allah for giving me such an opportunity to speak first and uh, uh, talk about a little uh, about my dear school uh, with all of you. I have joined the school in 2015 um, in kindergarten and I'm currently studying in grade 7 and um, my journey uh, started um, in the, like my whole institution life have been uh, studying here and uh, there are so many positive things I can say about this school all students and teachers dedicate their whole life into um, learning and discovering new things every day and uh, there are a lot of students here that came from a language club that our school um, presents like um, this uh, club we are all dedicated into learning English skills, uh, fluencies, specialties, and a lot of vocabularies that we might struggle. And um, uh, from joining this language club, I have been overcome a lot of situations from anxiety or speaking in public uh, in English. And Chairman Sir have helped me a lot too in this um, English fluency that I might struggle. And overall, Amerigen School, uh, the teachers are really highly educated and came from a really uh, highly uh, institution. And the environmental like, contents is really perfect for a student's mental and physical health. And especially uh, if you have heard that Amerigen, uh, sorry, uh, Bangladesh have uh, present this new curriculum um, the students can develop uh, many uh, different other ways uh, other than just boring academic uh, like system that uh, we used to have. Uh, it uh, is mixed with a lot of uh, foreign countries such as UK or uh, Japan. Like they take a lot of um, tricks that um, students can easily comprehend into uh, discovering more and they put it in our, this new curriculum. Uh, so this and all teachers are trying their best for students to uh, comprehend this new curriculum and um, Amigen College is also one of the best college uh, I have uh, seen in my area since uh, a lot of discipline in other college are not uh, totally stable uh, here all uh, students and teachers try to keep their manners uh, proper and um, uh, we, we are all just very happy for you to be here and I could not properly uh, uh, say the speech uh, but uh, all I have to say I'm still learning there's a lot of big path for all of our students here present here uh, have to go through and I'm still learning uh, a lot more English topics uh, fluencies and a lot of uh, uh, students and teachers tell me that I got the accent uh, good and uh, I'll say I'm really thankful to Chairman Sir, my pa uh, family members who have helped me on the way to discover it and maybe talking with us, uh, talking with you all today, we can learn a lot of tricks where all of us can uh, continue this fluency easily and uh, inshallah I will uh, have also a dream to study in UK and uh, um, study there inshallah and we are just very grateful that you have traveled from such a far place just to talk with us. And uh, I'm really grateful to be a part of this institution. We're all are very grateful for you to be here. And that's my welcome speech. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. A big clap for Sanya. A big clap. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sanya. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, thank you, Sanya. Sorry. Hello, thank you. Can I ask you how old are you? Uh, I'm currently 13 years old. Okay. Can I just very quickly say that when I was 13 years old, my English wasn't like this at all. <laughs> and I couldn't speak English the way you spoke, and it was such a nice speech. And your Thank English you. is beautiful, and I, I'm sure that it's thanks to the teachers as well. And I'm sure that you also put a lot of effort into this. And um, yeah, I'm just, I'm very surprised and shocked how, you, how well your English was. Thank so, you yeah. so much. It's everything behind the Honorable Chairman, yeah. everything behind. Ladies and gentlemen, now I'm going to welcome another one, who is another enlightened student. It's Ms. Nabila. I will only please come here and introduce our college before the honorable guest. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, 
Assalamu alaikum everyone. I am Sujan Nabila from Regium Section, Amishan College. I, first of all, I would like to give a humble thanks to our honorable, honorable guest who has come so far from the UK. And then I would like to thank honorable chairman sir, vice principal ma'am, and uh, Wilkis ma'am also, and honorable teachers. Okay. Um, first of all, I was a former student of Amijan High School as well, and now I'm in this college. So when I was in school, I heard about many things about this college. Then Chairman Sir offered me that you should also join this college, and I thought about why not. Then I admitted in this college. Now I think I made a best decision to uh, be a part of this college. Thank you. Thank you. Now. Thank you. I would like to say something about my college that I have uh, ten, 10 of female teachers and more than 30 of male teachers here and we have many co-curriculum activities like we have also these houses like school but uh, there is n not everyone here because the uh, test uh, exam is happening so and uh, we have also English language club and uh, other house activities as well. Uh, so I would uh, uh, I would like to say you that you will uh, enjoy every moment here, and the students will ask you many questions, and uh, you will be grateful to uh, be among with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, very, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, my dear students, can you have a look at the picture here? Look here. So we don't want that. Oh, over here. With the doctor Sai, my uncle. And and here is the gentleman here. And it was long time ago. Yes, teacher. Good afternoon. Graduation. Sir, may you proceed, sir? Please. Dear student, when you get the opportunity to stand before someone who is himself or she is herself enlightened, try to focus on him or on her. If you listen that enlightened person from the core point of your heart, you will be enlightened. So, as we got opportunity, a golden opportunity, to sit before such honorable guests, so why don't we miss such an opportunity? Let's enjoy something from honorable guest. May I request at first, Mrs. Ragina Simon Mann, would you please speak so, uh, before a student? I will be a first. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay, sir. At first, please, sir. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Simon, sir, will start at first, and we will listen to him very carefully. Please, sir. Thank you, thank you very much for having me and such a warm welcome and it's a reception we're not really used to I guess every day in, in the UK. And thanks Mr. Thank Chairman, you. Honourable Chairman. Uh, so yeah, it's a great pleasure to come here to talk to you guys. Uh, this is not what we planned for but it was really to, just to get a message across. Could so, you please feel... louder please sir? Yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so, I think if you stand it will be, everybody can uh, see you. Yeah. Yeah. Can do so thanks for having us all over and uh, I feel uh, really honoured to be with you guys and to share our message. It's in a small way we want to make a change and a, a mental change more than anything. You know, not edu your education is good and all the teachers are good and everyone's doing well and you're speaking very, very well and your uh, delivery was fantastic. And don't worry about being nervous, I'm also nervous and that's one of the things, you know, we all fail, we all do bad, but you did well, you know. Thank you guys. So, Coming back to the school, I guess it brings back a lot of memories for me, you know, as a child at the school. I went to school in Bangladesh for three years, and then I went to school in America and the UK. So it brings back a lot of memories, and not only is it a place for education, but also like making friends, which I didn't have any because I was moving everywhere, uh, but also um, doing well, you know, doing well in sports, doing well in things, learning things that you're good at. Um, but I think one of the main things I learned in school was how to deal with my emotions, you know, how to deal with sadness, jealousy, anger, failure, or fear of failing, you know? Yeah. And I guess that's something I thought more than anything when I was in school, it's not just how well is my exam grades, it's more the panic attacks before I go to the exam, mm -hmm. you know? So, yeah, so it, that is life. That, that is how the world works, you know? World is not perfect where you wanna go out and you're just gonna pass everything and everyone's gonna just love you. You need to learn how to deal with those emotions. And what I learned was those are the moments that made me good, you know? Those are the panic moments that brings the best out of you, you know, if you want. Uh, it, it can also bring you down and feel really bad. 
and fail after that, or you can use that energy to really excel. But you need that support network around you to be able to use it in a positive manner. Uh, and that support network is really what I want to promote uh, amongst your teachers, your parents, and also amongst your captains and leaders, and whoever's there, good speaker, you know, who's there to support you. There needs to be a support network that listens. You know, if you feel bad, it's okay. If you feel like you failed in something, that's also okay, because then you can learn tomorrow morning how to recover from that and not feel bad and not fail again in that. Maybe you know, uh, and this is your training ground. Uh, school, college, university. This is where you're supposed to get beaten up, fail, or win. You know, all of it has to happen here. You can't just do well, you know, and then come out and realize, I don't know how to fail. And then you fail in something and you're scared, you know, in the real world. So yeah, um, I guess this is our main raising awareness game today. And uh, hopefully going forward every year we come, maybe we can elaborate, maybe we can talk to you, engage with your parents, uh, good counselors in, in the school that can be trained. Uh, with the teachers. Teachers are the best people, I think. You know them very well. You see them every day. You trust them. So maybe they are the people which we should start with, you know. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's really it. And um, I think uh, covered everything, yeah. One of the lines I really liked, I went to a seminar and, and due to, from my work, and one of the lines I heard that stuck to me was, you know, Albert Einstein? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. So he said the your ability to change is the direct measure of your intelligence. Okay. So it's not necessarily your education. So that's it. I will now be right back to the hands. So I'd love to come and speak to you and maybe meet you in person. Probably more effective than me continuing discussions. All right. Thank you very much again. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Listen, I have just said that if you carefully listen to someone, you will learn something. Sir, so already informed that life is a journey. Yes. Pain yes, and passion can change everything. Pain is a part of life. Who have not faced pain in, in his or her life? Everybody, right? So getting pain doesn't mean that uh, my life is totally destroyed. No, never. Sir, so already said that. Life will be go through several passages. Not all passages will go on my favor. Right, my student? Start, start, ex exactly, sir, point out this thing. Okay, I'm going to the main speaker today. You'll be the most inspirable person <laughs> for us, all of you. Oh, please go ahead so and enjoy question. the time, please. Okay. Thank you. Hi, hi there. Um, I'm very um, grateful to be here. I'm not used to making speeches in front of many kids. Actually, in school, I, I used to give some little speeches, you know, similar to what you've done. In Hungarian, though, so not in English. So I think it's, it's very hard. Um, whatever you do in school, when you are chosen for something, I think it's even harder, isn't it? But I think it makes it even more special. So thank you for that. But even those who are not chosen, you're here. You're, list you're actually chosen because you speak English and you understand English. So, so thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. Um, the reason, the main reason we are here, as Simon said, is, is because it's, um, well, it's a family heritage, partially, this school, and we really want to make this uh, a special place, because it has a special place in our heart, especially for Simon, and through him, um, I also feel very honorable that um, the, the family has this school, and, and that the school is actually ex excelling so much. There's so many kids speaking English so well, and then they go to college. Big clap, big clap. And, and I'm just seeing the eyes and the passion in you guys. It just makes me so happy. Because school and education is very important, and it will form a big part of your life. But we shouldn't focus too much on just studying, and as uh, Sahin was saying, yeah. It's also important to do extracurricular things and to bond with your peers, talk to them, talk to your teachers, learn from them not just about the subject, learn from them about life because they know a lot. They are older, more experienced, and they chose to be teachers because they love teaching, they love children, and they love to give all what they have inside to you so you can excel later in life, not just academically, but also, you know, there will be a lot of challenges in life, especially for children who are 
less fortunate and other kids in Taka who can go to maybe the most prestigious schools, it's not important. Yes. The main thing is what's, what you have in your, in your heart and the passion. But you can be passionate about everything. And that's something I really want to, to speak about, is that I know that nowadays in the system there's a lot of um, pressure to be good in everything. Be, be the best student and just get good marks. You know, that's what your teachers want, you think, I think, but I don't know if that's what they want, but you definitely, a lot of parents want that. Mm -hmm. And you want that because you feel good about yourself. But at the same time, what I learned and what I've seen growing up is that that not always gives you the best results when you want to be good in everything. Sometimes it's good to actually follow our dreams. Sometimes it's best to maybe choose one or two subjects you really, really enjoy and put your maximum effort into those subjects and don't try to be always good in everything. Or, I mean, obviously, you want good, right? Like, you have to understand the basics. And that's important because in life you will come across a lot of issues from maths, from biology, from agriculture, whatever. You, I know you study a lot of things here. And it's important to know the basics. But to be the best in everything, that's not possible. And when you want to strive for that, you, you will, at, at the end, be burned out. And you will feel like you actually don't know what you want to do in your life. And when you have to choose your passion and when you have to choose your route after school, it will be maybe a more, more of a struggle to choose what actually you enjoy and like. If now you start to look for the things that make you happy and bring you joy, and you feel like when I sit down to study this subject, I actually feel like I'm, it's not a problem to focus that much. I actually enjoy this. That is the thing you have to put your maximum effort in. You don't have to always do the best in everything. So that's something I really wanted to, to mention because I heard from your teachers that there's a lot of pressure from your parents and from yourself inside that you wanna be good and, and this, the curriculum is getting harder and harder. And that's uh, because the world is getting smarter and smarter. We know so much. So there's more that they wanna put into to kids' heads. Know this, you have to know this. But you can't know everything. It's not possible. Our brains are not computers. Yeah. And there are computers for that anyway. You know, if you wanna find an information, you just um, go to the library, get the laptop or computer and, um, and find what you need. So you don't have to be libraries inside. <laughs> I think that's a bit too much to ask from a child. Um, and then the emotions, uh, what Simon said, that uh, obviously when you in school, you have all the emotions. And, and as you get older, you're more and more aware of those emotions. Sadness, anger, fear, frustration. All those things are part of life. And when we are little, we not always know and especially I think back in times, our parents and our grandparents, they didn't know what emotions really were. And I know myself that my parents weren't really welcoming for my emotions a lot because they didn't know better. They just thought like, oh, you were angry? Well, go to your room and be angry there, you know? Um, so what I learned as a child is that I am not really able to, to feel those emotions. I need to suppress them. So now I got older, I had issues, and I had depression, and well, a lot of anxiety, and I was, I was feeling a lot of pressure from school and from my parents to the point that I actually partially left my country because of that, because I just felt I need my own time. And uh, when I left, uh, left my home country and went to the UK, well, I seen that the UK is very good at something. They are very good at motivating children and letting them play when they are young and uh, also trying to, a lot of schools, uh, and we are very lucky that Oracle can go, for example, to a school where they do that, they mix playing with learning, especially for smaller children. And what that does is that that creativity through play it comes into what they learn and, and their brain just develops much more openly. And later on, obviously, you don't have as much time to play, but there are other ways to do that. There's exercise, sports, arts. And I heard that um, you have, um, I think it's Lena, right? Who does like theater and cultural things in the school. 
So I think these things are very important and whoever has the passion for that, go for it. If you wanna do well in sports and that's what brings you joy, do it. The main thing is do something outside of studying because that will boost your creativity, give you time to release all the anger and whatever extra stuff is inside. Plus you will bond with your peers and you can get to have a chat, maybe after the sport class or theater class you can go and, um, I don't know, play some more in the field and just talk about your issues. It's important to talk about our issues because when it gets stuck inside, later on in your adult life and you are 25, 26, that's when usually these things start to really show. That's when it started to show for me as well. Like and when I became a mom, I realized that it's so important to prevent that, to prevent all those things to be stuck inside. Because then when you become, become parents or when you have to work a lot, you won't have time and you won't have like the opportunities to really deal with this and it's gonna be much harder. But it's now when you're in school, if you process that in a healthy manner, you're probably gonna have a much more successful life later. You're gonna be stronger. And mental strength just means that you are able to cope with stress. Like stress will be always there. And life is 